guests are Grammy nominated recording artists and you can see them perform in Brooklyn tonight. Woo! Esta noche. Yeah. Show me the Common Kings. Mm -hmm. Their debut album Lost in Paradise was nominated for best reggae album at the 2017 Grammy Awards. You may have heard of them. Yeah. They've toured with Justin Timberlake, Bruno Mars, and CeeLo Green, and now the band is back with a new album called Celebration. Can we take a shot? One shot. It's a celebration. Yeah. If we take another shot, two shots, then that's a combination. Yeah. Now we all want a tittle it could get the best of me. Drinks up. Cheers to the memories. Can we take a shot? It's a celebration. Yeah, celebration. The turn up at 1010. Somebody bring Lisa back with the vodka. <laughs> <laughs> Please welcome Junior King, Mata, Uncle Louie, and Big Rome of Common Kings. Gentlemen, fellas, yes. welcome to New York Living. Hello, oh, ladies. Morning. Thank you for thank having you. us. Yeah, thank you for having us. This can we party. take a shot? Yes. We <laughs> should, should. should have had a little a bar cart rolled in. We should have. Mm. Next time. You all look like you've known each other for forever, be that yes. as it may. Have you really? Have you all known each other? How did you all get for to know each other? For a very long time, we all met in college back oh. in Southern California. Oh, yeah, gosh. we were yeah. students, and Uncle Louie was a professor. Uh, Is that right? And, uh, <laughs> he said, "I want to join the it's band." Too early for the like, jokes, ah, guys. It's it's sorry about it. Nobody knows about that. <laughs> right off the bat, a roast right of Uncle Louie. Yeah, there we go. Let's get it. Let's yeah, well, congratulations on the new album. Fire. Thank you very much. I wish Thank we could have just it. listened to the whole I know. thing right now. <laughs> yeah. uh, so talk to us about the creation. We, what, 18 months during COVID, you mm. know, when yeah. all yeah. that happened. This is kind of like our COVID <clears throat> baby. And uh, oh. two weeks later, we're like texting each other. Are you good? Yeah, we're good. All right, yeah. let's get to work. Yeah. And then we went to work to the in, in the studio. We wrote over 120 songs of the top 120. Okay. Yeah, in 18 months. Uh, had a, a bunch of different writing camps all mm. over the United States. And uh, we picked the top. 24. This is the first 12. Ooh, that top 24 of 120. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You said you just said you had different writing camps. Yeah. Yes. What is that? Should we be oh. should we be in a writing camp? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Grab the vodka. You two. Oh. Yeah. We'll yeah. do a whole <laughs> song. I do we'll love do a whole camp. writing camps. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's like band, band camping, camp. basically. <laughs> 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 So what? Yeah. So the the what drew? The, you said this is a COVID baby. Yes, this is our COVID baby. Is it a stark departure from the album from 2017? Are you staying in your lane ish? Where no, you well, that's the the whole thing about celebration is that we're kind of celebrating our, like we we tour with Megan Trainor, Justin Timberlake. We also tour with Slightly Stupid, oh. and Stephen Stephen Marley, and, yep, and so like for I us it's like a celebration of you know the different diverse genres that we're able to. Yeah. Uh, to, to make our stamp and, and our journey, and, yeah, yeah, that's our journey, and so that's what it that's what it is. There's yeah. different so mixes of everything. Yeah, yeah. 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 In now the album. you mentioned so many different artists. Megan Trainer, very different than Revolution. Right. Love yes. all of them. Yeah. So it's a, a little bit of a mix here with the reggae, the pop, yep. the yeah. rock. Yep. How did you guys kind of come together and decide that this was going to be your sound? Were those just among a few of the artists that you were drawing inspirations from, or how did that work? Yeah, I think all of us have such different influences growing up. JR is very, very R&B driven. A mm -hmm. lot of uh, music, Soul Child, um, yeah. all the neo soul. Ivan's a little bit more Latin, yeah, uh -huh. reggae. I, I love a lot of the singer songwriter. And he's a T Swifter. So uh, yeah, you were Swifter. Who was a T Swifter? Okay. I was at the Jets Mata. game. And, uh, <laughs> you were not even at the Jets. And you made the skeleton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, because right. <laughs> we were at the Jets game. <laughs> 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 no, but the whole melting pot, that was, that's what made Common Kings yeah. in our sound. So it's pretty eclectic and we're proud of it. it. It tracks with what you're saying, the fact that you pull from these different genres that you love and that I, I assume have inspired you. Yes. Mm -hmm. And it feels very much like a community, much like the camps, because a venture like this doesn't happen in a vacuum. So no. how important is community to you all as a group and to what you really symbolize? Uh, not just in the music community, but as you represent your own respective communities. We're, so we have Very Polynesian important. heritage. Yeah. We're from the South Pacific mm -hmm. and grew up <clears throat> in the islands. Community is everything. Family yeah. is everything. Yeah. So yeah. our name, Common Kings, is based of just kind of giving homage and respect to our royal lineage, mm -hmm. saying we come from uh, kings, kings and high chiefs. High chiefs. Yeah. And also we're just common people, just everyday society. So. 
um, it's our name alone it symbolizes giving homage to the oh. community and our faith and, and our family. Just clicked. I love yeah. that. Yeah. I love because there's nothing common about you. Yeah, absolutely not. <laughs> but I get it. Well, you were They're right. You were right to bow to Uncle Louie. I know. <laughs> 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 I said, okay, she Uncle Louie. She curtsy. She was like, oh, she knows. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, that's right. The rest of you get. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so you are on tour right now. The yes. Road to Maui tour. Mm. You're in New York. Yes. Lo great spot. It's just a, a, one of many stops. I'm sure. How stop. does it feel to be back on the road? Man. <laughs> the first two weeks, it was like, oh, oh how silence. do we do this again? <laughs> yeah. We traveled before COVID seven to nine months out of the year. We oh were gone gosh. on the road, mm, away from right. the families and everything. And then COVID happened, and we got back home. And we're like, okay, what do we do with ourselves? Yeah, right. And then now that we're back out, uh, two months on the road, the Road to Maui tour, 38 shows, and we just, we're on the fifth week right now. Um, yep. It's amazing. It's so nice to be back on the road. This is where we belong, just kind of giving people good vibes with our music and creating inspiration and let people know about the album and us. And What's going on? Road yeah, and it's especially with that, you, you were talking about community. Um, this was a celebration album we just released. It was supposed to be a celebration tour. Uh, but in light of what happened in Maui, right. we had a couple shows uh, right before the tour. We went to Kona, and that happened in Lahaina. We decided to stop by in Lahaina and just kind of pay homage and respects and just see the community and help them and do whatever we can to help inspire um, and uplift with what's going on. <clears throat> and it was really heavy. It was really heavy. People don't really realize what, what was going on mm -hmm. and how bad it is over sure. there. Yeah. Um, we got to visit these different pods and communities and just uh, seeing these people that have lost everything, you know, lost loved ones, lost their homes, lost, it just, yeah, everything they grew up on, it was so hard for us. And when we got back to Southern California, it was so hard for us to, you know, yeah, it, go to celebration <clears throat> tour, have a tour and say it's mm, celebration yeah. tour. Go ahead, Uncle yeah, we had Yeah, we had to definitely pivot, you yeah. know, yeah. after seeing them. It's, it's crazy you see people that have lost everything, yet their Aloha spirit is real. Mm -hmm. oh they're, they're serving you. They're, yeah. they're making sure that we're comfortable. You know, after, after losing, losing everything, everything, they're right. trying to make sure we're fed, that we have drinks. Mm -hmm. You know, this was, this is, for us, that's like community. You sure. know, no matter what's happened to you guys, like even we would do the same thing, but to see it, you know, in that stark contrast yeah, yeah. with yeah, what's, you know, the, the backdrop of what, everything that happened, yeah. it was, yeah, we were, we're all very, very emotional. emotional. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. bet. I bet. And you can channel that into the wonderful music that you are doing. Yeah. Yes. Remind yes. folks where we can see you. Yes. Tonight, Brooklyn Bowl. Brooklyn Bowl tonight. Doors open at 7. Come get your tickets, support. And all the proceeds for our uh, yeah. VIP package go straight to Maui. We love That whole you road guys. to Maui tour. <laughs> love, Common love, love. Kings. I need to stay up past the oh bedtime tonight. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Maybe. Congratulations. And thanks for making this a stop on the tour. Oh, I yeah. had to. Yes. We are nice. very lucky. I love it. And please come back. Yes, we'd when love you do to. Thank you for having us. Yeah. yeah. Yes, we will. We'll, we'll be sure to have the some shots The car lady, for you the guys. whole nine yeah. shots, everything. Brittany, take notes. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, thank you.